Hey everyone and welcome back to the series that teaches you how to suck a little less than you currently do. I'm your host Colonel Mustard and today we got another Cleveland replay. This is clearly after I uh, put on some premium consumables and now I have three radars that I get to use and I'm going to use them. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move to a position on an island that's very common for radar shifts to take where they can radar A, B, and C depending on their radar range and that's exactly what I'm going to do but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give it a pause and we're going to look at the team lineup so we got North Carolina's, Tirpitz, Alabama's, Imagi, there's three battleships on this one as far as the HE spam goes the Imagi is the best target it's covered in 25 millimeter armor it's a very good HE spam target, but that's not my goal this game. My goal is to provide information early. This is uh, the position I'm going to is another clan battle position that we have used and that we used in the first season. There's actually two key radar, or actually three key radar positions we use in the north, and I'm going to the one that's going to give my team the most information because if you look, I'm the only radar ship. So I'm going to a position that's going to benefit our team, in my opinion, the most. So we'll go ahead and uh, unpause and move in. Uh, Threats-wise, you know, those battleships are going to be a problem, but I'm literally going to island camp for a bit, uh, for a while. I want to give our team information. I want to help them figure out where to go. Uh, people have actually surprisingly listened to my comments. We do have an AFK Mogami, so I am actually the only cruiser still uh, paying attention. And then the Colonel Mustard. I suspect you in the study with a candlestick. I don't think uh, I don't think I noticed it. Usually I have a witty comment, but I want to win this one. I think this is uh, me getting into uh, tier ten or something. The tier uh, rank ten or something. I don't remember. It, it was. I, I definitely. Oh no, I did. I did. I said allegedly. Okay, so I did say something. So I'm moving into my position. And uh, what I want to do is, I'm not really concerned about my firing angles. Um, and what I need to do about like getting damage in this game. What I want to do is, pro I see the smoke, and. I definitely want to get a radar ready. I'm looking back at my enemy team right now. I'm seeing if they have firing angles, and I'm definitely going to radar. So I tell my team radar in five, and I pop it. I see a Benson, and then shortly thereafter, wait for it. It's coming. Push in a little more, and I see an Edinburgh. Now, our team doesn't have fantastic angles. They're... The battleships are, you know, they're hurting animals. They're going to group together because they're stupid. Just kidding. If you're a battleship main, please don't take offense. I just noticed that battleships tend not to want to split up, which is actually the best thing you can do to create crossfires. Uh, I, I knew they were going to shoot torps through that gap. I wasn't worried. I do pop hydro to see if anything's trying to... Ambush through that gap. So if you notice my hydro range, I can see anything that's going to try to push through that gap. It's unlikely, but it does let me see if they're trying to cap B. They are capping B, and I don't want to push forward enough to uh, maybe get that because that's going to put me at risk for that turpitz that's pushing in. So definitely not what I want to happen. Looks like they're going really heavy on an AB strat. This is inadvisable, and boom. We see something very fun. We have a Benson that apparently wants to rush a Cleveland. Now, I think maybe he just wants to chuck some torps. He's not going to be that stupid. But I'm still going to get in a position. I'm going to be ready in case he does. They still have a Turpitz. Now, the North Carolina and a Moggy position on the enemy team is horrendous. I, I hate the 4-5 line push on this map for the sole reason that you're out of the game for almost all of it until you get to the until you hit the D line or until you're in the gap on the EF line you can't shoot shit there's a giant effing island right in your way and you can't you can't bring any pressure if that North Carolina and Amagi were on that G line south in between 
the you know the the B cap and the C cap. This could have been a different game, but nope, nope. That's not the way it's going to be. Now I don't think this Benson's going to be that stupid. I think I might get one shot at him before he turns out. But just in case he does, I'm actually going to cut my speed here. I want to be neutral. That way, if he torps, I can just run forward and use the island to keep myself safe. I see him. He's really not paying attention. I take a shot. And uh, there's 5k off his health. Now I'm going to accelerate and try to use these islands in case he's torping me. I blap him again. And then uh, our uh, Bismarck clears him out. Now I do see this Edinburgh. And I'm like, eh, don't really need to come around the island on this. I kind of want to. But he's turning out... It's not something I really want to engage with. Um, apparently there was a... Someone said sorry about the KS, but he was on our team. Oh, the kill steal. Oh, I don't give a shit, dude. All I care about is the W. I really don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't care what my kill total is. I care about winning. So I'm about to say I'm going to radar in five. I want to give our team information. And then I say never mind because we have that information. Amagi's been spotted. No sense. So I'm switching to AP. And at this point, I've kind of figured out what the Cleveland AP can do. And I know this is a range, as long as I aim for that upper belt, that uh, I can get pretty good damage numbers. It's 5K. Now, right now, what I'm doing is I know this Turpitz wants to shoot me. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to accelerate around this island so he has a very tough shot to make. He's got to try to squeeze it around that island to hit me. Right now he doesn't have a shot. And I don't either. I know he doesn't have a shot because I don't have a shot. So I'm going to cut my speed and see if I can farm a little more damage off him. Uh, see if I can put him in a position that's tougher. Like he's... He, I mean, he's technically, he's not really in a crossfire, but he's giving broadside to, like, literally our entire team. Because there's a Magami in front of him. And it's an AFK Magami, so. Looks like he tried to torp me. Good try. I'm not that stupid. And I'm going to, you know, 1.5k, that's not great. So I'm aiming, I, I decided to switch to HE. And uh, at this point, I'm just trying to get as much as I can out of this guy before he goes down. Because he's going to go down. And I actually do get the kill here. I thought about backing up against this Baltimore and Amagi, but they have a Magami that they're going to get baited by. And at this point, I go. And uh, we'll go ahead and pause here. We got a North Carolina in that gap. Who was last spotted in the gap. We have a Baltimore Maggie going north. They still have uh, a DD somewhere. And I'm looking at the points and I'm going, yeah, I'm still going to go in. I'm moving in. I, I feel like I've done enough. I've done enough work to kind of secure us the win. Let's see if I can boost. Because I'm grinding. I was grinding. I'm grinding the ship right at this point. I want to see if I can boost my points a bit. If there's an NC still sitting in this gap, I have an Alabama and an Abysmark behind me that are ready to delete him if he's still sitting broadside of this gap. So I'm playing defensively. I'm ready to angle. And oh, hello, Torps. See the angle I need to take? Throw some torpedo beats. Sorry, I'm not going to play the music. That bums you out, I'm sorry. And I'm detected while coming around this corner, so I know the Yugimos here. And I do, I'm still getting used to the guns on the speed of the ships that are uh, here, so. My shots aren't expertly placed on this uh, Kagero. But I do get some good chunk damage. Amagi goes down because, you know. He went through that gap. And I look at this North Carolina, I'm like, man, if he if he was paying attention to what I just did, if I was him, I'd be turning left and angling the guns right through this gap to get an easy fucking kill. So I'm not pushing up. I don't have the information to make this push. I don't want to. I'm going to get my caps. I'm going to be happy with those caps. And I don't have to. I don't have to push him. I... I if I, if I win this game with 39k damage, I'm okay with that. It's a win. That's all I need to do, is secure the win. I'm not going to do something stupid to jeopardize it. And the biggest way you can jeopardize a game is to die. Before, you know, before it's guaranteed. And it's not guaranteed right now. I mean, 
you saw, you guys have seen some other games and some of the dumb things people do. This game's still throwable. And I want to make sure it's not. So now that I know the North Carolina is going north, I'm pushing up. I kind of want to get some shots on this NC. I'd like to get, you know, put some pressure on them for our other battleships. But uh, apparently he did, he went to the school of uh, showing your broadside and st crossing the T. And he thinks that's a legitimate naval strategy that can be used in this game. It's not, for those of you who don't know. And he's starting to get wrecked. He does try to angle in a bit, but gets deleted right when I decide to do it. And that North Carolina... Now, right there, there was, those were Torps. I know exactly where that Kagero is. I know exactly where he is, and I'm going to go hunt him. Now, at this point, the game kind of is secured. This is a win. So I'm going to go try to ambush this Kagero. If you liked the video, feel free to give a like. Subscribe. Help grow my, help grow my channel. Help me monetize these videos. Um, and also, we have a contest going on. Uh, if you... Think of a fun new saying. Spot the Gagero, by the way. And I'm pretty much going to harass him to this game ends. I mean, it's over. I dodge his easy torps. Pretty obvious. Where he torped. Where I was going, not where I intended to go. I did turn my turrets anticipation of this. And uh, if you guys can think of a good opening line for me to use in my videos, I'll give it a try. And my favorite one will be my tournament one. So, I do have a Patreon if you guys want to contribute that way. If you don't, no big deal. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to try to land my shots in this Gagara. I'm still figuring out my correct lead on DDs. So, <laughs> it's, uh, I've gotten a lot better. I'm, all, I'm pretty much done with the Cleveland at this point. And this, I think, will be my last Cleveland replay unless people really want more of them. And I could show a random battle replay because I, I am Uticum in the ship, so... Uh, I could show more if it's requested. But yeah, thanks for watching.